If you're anything like me, you're looking to put to rest bad habits and move towards a cleaner, healthier lifestyle. My name is Liam Doran, and as a chef in New Orleans for the last 15 years, I ate and drank whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted it. Come with me as we explore great tasting healthy food, alternative eating lifestyles, and simple ways to stay fit. Joining me for a jog in the park is my good friend and personal trainer, Glenn Winter. What do you recommend for someone who's just starting out with an exercise program? First of all, maybe go see your doctor, get a quick checkup, uh, and then the most important thing is to ask for help. You know, um, go to a local gym, go to somebody who's got the body that you want, um, ask them what it is they're doing, see if you can get some time with them. What is the importance of exercise and nutrition in an active lifestyle? Nutrition is the key that unlocks all your results for exercise. Uh, nutrition gives you your energy, it's your fuel, you know. Um, the, the cleaner I eat, the better I feel. Glenn, when exercising, how important is stretching? Stretching plays a very important role, Liam. Uh, stretching limbers up the muscles, gets them loose, ready to receive the exercise, and also after the workout, it's really good for a cool down. Flexibility is, is key to the whole process. What did you do before you were a personal trainer? I've always been athletic my whole life um, and also I've been a musician my entire life. I play piano, I'm a label owner, uh, producer, uh, lyricist, performer, recording artist. Multi-talented. <laughs> Excellent Glenn. Tell you what, let's go to the kitchen and cook up some salmon. Let's eat. After you exercise, what's the most important thing to do? Eat. We gotta eat. The body needs fuel. All right, I've got a great high protein, mm. very nutritious dish. We're mm -hmm. gonna cook up a fennel crusted salmon I'm, and we're gonna make a fennel slaw to go with it. I've got brown rice cooking right here and we're gonna serve it with some steamed broccoli. Now salmon's key after a workout, anything with protein. Your muscles have been depleted and torn apart, you know, and we need protein. Um, so what you got going on here? Now this we've got, I've got two kinds of salmon. I've got a farm raised Atlantic salmon and the, um, lovely sockeye, which is a wild salmon. Mm. It's all omega-3 fats, mm. so th this is the good fats That's that you want to eat. That's the good stuff for you. So first thing I need you to do, Glenn, yeah. is I need you to make the fennel slaw. Now, what is fennel and what is fennel slaw? Because I've never heard fennel of it. Fennel is a beautiful, <laughs> it's a beautiful vegetable. It comes from the Mediterranean. It's gorgeous, Doc. It is very gorgeous. We're going to cut the top off it off. And uh, it's got a nice anise flavor to it. And what I need you to do is take mm -hmm. it to this mandolin and just slice it really thin. I'm not going to hurt myself here, huh? No, you're going to be yeah. real careful. I'm a piano player. Slice it. <laughs> I need these fingers. You're going to be all right. We're not making finger sandwiches, are we? No, we're not. All right. So just cut down like that? Yeah. All right. Let's see it while you do. Is that thick enough yeah, you, for you? Oh, yeah, you're doing good. All right. Let's keep go going. Well. Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. And we're going to. Yeah, that looks, that looks great. Wow, that smells great, man. <laughs> it does. It's got a lovely anise flavor to it. Now, uh, we're going to dress that with a real simple dressing, just a little vinegar and water. This is what we're going to dress the, the fennel slaw with. I got a little bit of vinegar, a little apple cider vinegar. You don't, you don't want too much. And then some water, super simple. A little bit of sugar, salt, and pepper. You want me to cut one of these up too? Shred that? Yeah, and then I want you to shred that carrot. What I need you to do is then just mix, mix the carrot and the fennel together in, mm -hmm. in that and just let it sit. We're going to need more than that or what? No, that looks great. Great. This is just a garnish. <clears throat> this is a great, <laughs> this is a great alternative to the rich butter sauces that we're used to putting our f on our fish here in New Orleans. Break a few bits of this mm -hmm. into it. Right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to crush the salmon. And pepper on the salmon itself. Now after a workout, especially your body is craving proper fuel for nutrition. It's one of the key times other than breakfast to uh, have some serious nutrition. Right you are, Glenn. This, see, nutritional food does not have to taste bad. And this is a very simple idea. You take a great piece of fish like salmon and just add a little bit of flavor to it. 
So I'm just going to put a, a smidgen of olive oil in this pan, mm. which is, again, a great oil. And then we're going to sear this fish. And that's the sound you want to hear. So we'll let that go. We've got our we've got our brown we've got our brown jasmine rice that's simmering in this pot. We've got our fennel slaw, which is lovely. Got that marinating. Now, and we got the salmon cooking, so we need to prepare some broccoli. Broccoli. Broccoli is super fueled, just complete, packed with nutrients. That is very true. Now, what what? What's the portion size when it comes to vegetables? Can you eat as many vegetables as you want? All right, well, vegetables also have a lot of water, and uh, depending on the vegetables, it's also um, some sugars. Different type of sugar, though. This is better for you than, like, you know, now and later. Right. Okay, good. <laughs> I hope uh, so. A portion would be, make a fist, all right? That's a good portion size, all right? Okay. For any, for any human being, all right, the size of your fist. So give us two portions of broccoli, and we're just gonna drop that in this there you water. Go. Get some hot water here. Put a little salt in the water. It'll give it some flavor. That'll just that'll just seep right into the skin. You don't want to blanch it very long. It's uh, if you have a steamer, use that because the more uh, the more time the more amount of time a vegetable spends in water, the more vitamins leach out of it. So something else I'm noticing about your choices here. Very healthy choices, Liam. Um, everything here has one ingredient. Do you know what I'm saying? Salmon. It's true. Broccoli. Rice. <laughs> right? Like these are all, there's no additives, no preservatives in any of this. You know what no, I mean? No, we're keeping it really simple. So. And keeping it real. Keeping it real. So our broccoli looks like it's done. Just a quick little al dente. Now, I, I notice you're not melting any heavy butter to put no. over your broccoli. There's no Velveeta cheese that you've got going on here. None of that? We're not gonna, that's not happening? No, that's how you take something healthy and ruin it. So we got, you know, just, you don't need a whole lot of rice, about a half a cup. About the size of your fist. The size of your fist. Get it. Some beautiful broccoli here. Salmon. And then that slaw is gonna go right on top of the salmon. Like that. There you go. Go. Easy, healthy food that tastes great. Simple to make. Mm. Quick, simple, healthy meals that anyone can prepare. Glenn, thanks so much for joining us. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you, ravenous. Mm. Cheers. Everyone have a great day.